Right now, we are with Mr. Vincent Wang, and he's the chair for CLUSA Columbus. Uh, welcome to our summit. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And I know that you are involved in the Sherry Chen case, so just give us a brief uh, you know, idea about what happened. Sure. Uh, Sherry Chen is a Chinese-American scientist uh, that worked at National Weather Services in Wilmington, Ohio. Uh, she was wrongfully accused of spying for China about four years ago. And uh, so, the, so that her experience caused uh, a lot of disruptions in the Chinese-American community, and uh, people felt like uh, she was innocent, but she was wrongfully charged. And uh, uh, overall, uh, a lot of organizations and a lot of individuals in the community supported her case. And uh, so that was four years ago. And uh, then we supported her to appeal to the federal, uh, the U.S. Uh, Merit System Protection Board uh, to for wrongful uh, termination mm -hmm. and uh, racial, crim uh, racial discrimination. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started getting involved uh, about two years ago uh, when sh her hearing was taking place in Ohio. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, at that time, I was the chair of the Ohio Chinese American Association. Mm -hmm. We organized the local community to mm -hmm. support her. Mm -hmm. We held a rally uh, in around March time in Ohio. Uh, in freezing weather, it's about like uh, 30 degrees Celsius, and uh, so a lot of people, they felt like she was one of us, and uh, she uh, really reflects uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the community members' values and, uh, and also their attitude toward uh, being part of America, and uh, uh, standing up uh, to, to basically uh, make your voice heard. Mm -hmm. So uh, she, she received a lot of report, uh, support in Ohio, and uh, we received a lot of media coverage and that helped uh, spread the word about her case and uh, help uh, educate the main so mainstream society. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, earlier this year, final decision for the appeal case uh, was basically, uh, the, the decision came out, and the federal administrative judge uh, uh, thought uh, she, was, she was right, she was uh, grossly uh, subject to uh, injustice by the uh, government. Mm -hmm. And uh, they asked the, the federal government to put her back to her job. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a successful ending. And thank you for the wonderful job and so many other leaders because we were introduced uh, by Dr. Albert Wan mm -hmm. to Sherry Chen. And we did an interview for her. Uh, about three years ago. So this is a really, you know, from this case and uh, what have our community learned from this? I know that you, you've been very actively involved in the civic, uh, mm -hmm. like leadership forum and all kinds of activities. So why you are so active? I think the Sherry's case is one example that uh, the community, we need to work together. We, we, we can't just uh, care about our own, let's say our own work, our own daily life. We really need to understand what's happening in our community, what's happening in the, in the nation, uh, to have that kind of sense of context and also have a sense of community, supporting each other. Uh, Sherry's case is like that too. Uh, initially, she didn't have the support, she didn't know who to reach out to, and she didn't uh, know the tools that uh, basically entitled by the constitution of the country that she, she has the uh, right to not to uh, speak to the investigators without a, a legal counsel. So uh, her case really helped our community understand that we have our constitution rights. In the meantime, we have our constitution duties as well. That's why through her experience, I understand that we really need to uh, get the community together. Uh, that's why I gradually get more involved in the community service. Mm -hmm. Well, so thank you so much. In, on this uh, summit, we're talking about civic leadership forum. So, uh, what's the civic leader's qualification in your, um, you know, just uh, what do you think? Uh, I think a ci civic leadership is twofold. One is that you need to civically be engaged mm -hmm. uh, in a society to care about uh, what's going on in the society to basically educate yourself, uh, participate in the civic affairs. And also in the meantime, uh, some of 
members of our, our community, uh, they, uh, they get the exposure to uh, civic affairs, public affairs uh, earlier than other members. We really have the responsibility to help other people to basically get the same amount, amount of exposure and uh, participate. And as, uh, collectively, when we all get engaged, when we have the leadership, we show the compassion for our community and for the whole society, then we can make our voices stronger. Uh, we, uh, we will be no longer invisible in the society. And the, the mainstream society will, will recognize our presence and recognize our benefits and also our rights as well. Well, thank you, Vincent. Thank sure. you. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you.